Hey, how's it going guys? It's Karate Fox, and today we'll be looking at three Norfolk Southern Heritage Units. So if you don't know about these, they were basically painted for the 30th anniversary for Norfolk Southern in 2012. They painted 20 locomotives in color schemes of predecessor railroads. Uh, Union Pacific also does this as well. And maybe uh, CSX, they have sort of like a heritage shoot it. But yeah, Norfolk Southern, they have like 20 of these, which I only have a couple of them. And I uh, actually had like really old versions of it, like these three, they're all commissions. Uh, in the past, we got the Pennsylvania Railroad right here, we got Conrail and Southern Railway. I'm going to be going over all of these. And all these builds here on the right, I built uh, three or four years ago. So they have like this older PTC antenna on top versus the newer one, which is sort of like two different uh, long boxes on top. And uh, yeah, let's go first off, checking out the Pennsylvania Railroad Heritage Unit. This is the NS8102. And uh, yeah, we got the Pennsylvania Railroad stripes and you know, the emblem right here that says their Pennsylvania Railroad logo. And we're gonna take a look around 360 view of it, as well as, you know, the roof, just in case you wanna build this, cause uh, for this video, I'm not gonna be showing you how to build it, but I will show you what it looks like, it, just in case you do wanna build it. And I just released the Ferromex uh, ES44 tutorial, so you can use that as a basis. It's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is, I added, uh, I changed this part a little bit so it's like a half block uh, where we have this indent here. And you see the fuel tank, this is like a slab on the outside part. But uh, interesting thing about the Pennsylvania Railroad Heritage Unit, they don't actually have the road number underneath the cab. Instead it's like in the middle, right towards the top. So that was quite interesting. And here it is compared to the older one. You see the hopper wheels, very long cab. And you know, the stripe goes all the way across. And one thing I think I might have forgot is not including these ditch lights because Norfolk Southern they always add in ditch lights like both sides, that's their thing. I think Canadian National might do it as well. I'm not sure. It's actually commissioned by Cosmic Donut for back in 2017. All right, so over here, this is the Conrail Heritage Unit, this is the NS8098. And uh, yeah, here's what looks like probably my uh, favorite heritage, you know, color scheme. I do like Conrail a lot, especially because they also merge with like um, CSX, which CSX is my favorite railroad. And here's what it looks like on the very roof. And uh, all these, they actually have different like roof like uh, detail. You see like these like buttons are in different places, like little stickers. Well, this one does not. And uh, yeah, you know, we got the new PTC antenna array. Conrail logo here in the front. Here's what it looks like on the side. Got the stripes. Uh, probably this is kind of difficult to make since I don't know if it's exactly, it's not supposed to be exactly this tall, but uh, you know, in Minecraft, it's still one to have like showing two stripes across. That bit says uh, Conrail there. And uh, the older one right here, that was uh, commissioned by Sam the Antrak fan back in August 2017. Uh, that's what that looks like really old and I think I got confused on how to make the radiator because this one It looks a lot like a tier 4 Jivo rather than the ES44 So I probably was reskinning the tier 4 Jivo into this um, So that's why this one has a little bit of mistake on top See it wasn't as accurate back then also like um, the hand railings. I don't know why it's like it's using uh, oak Interesting. Well, this one needs uh, more blue I think it was not yellow, right? Uh, but anyways, let's move on to the last one here. Uh, this is the Southern Railway Heritage Unit. I know a lot of people, they do like Southern Railway. And this is the NS8099. Here's what it looks like. It has a really nice color scheme. So it's um, white and green here on sides. So southern in the middle here. And let's go wrap it around. Here's what it looks like in the back. You know, got the emblem there. And uh, then on this side, and you can also look at the roof detail for this. Very cool. And then we're going to take a look here at the older version of this. This is uh, commissioned by uh, Cosmic Donut 4 back in uh, 2018 in February. So Cosmic Donut 4, he's responsible for two of these commissions. 
And uh, commissions back then were way cheaper, so, you know, the builds back then weren't as detailed, um, so, of course, it's going to be uh, cheaper, because I, I was still uh, in experience on how to make this super detailed one, which uh, looks like this right now, you know, you can see a comparison. Yeah, we could just go on a row, looking at all three of them at the same time. And if you guys are interested in commissioning a train, you can pay me on my PayPal to make a train for you, and check out the YouTube link in the description. And that will show you, you know, basically how to commission. A couple of people have commissioned stuff. So I want to thank them for supporting the channel and making me make videos, which I otherwise wouldn't really do. If you guys are interested in building this, you could just copy it from the video. It's uh, 33 blocks long, excluding the couplers. And they're using pretty much the same base as, you know, the Ferramex. As I said, just this part right over here, I changed up from the tutorial version of it yeah if you guys do enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button down below subscribe if you had already and check out our discord because we do have a chat there you can share your builds or talk to other people about minecraft or trains doesn't really matter or even model trains but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one